I am Kamla K. McKenzie and you're watching Mercury Live. We are here at the Miami International Boat Show and today I am speaking with Cecil Kahn from the Freedom Boat Club. So we're going to hear all about what exactly is the Freedom Boat Club. All right, Cecil, so you have thousands of members. Tell us a little bit about what the Freedom Boat Club is and exactly how it works, especially for those that may not be as familiar. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having of me course. today. Of course, thanks for being here. Absolutely, the, the Freedom Boat Club is a subscription to boating. And so the concept is uh, members can join the club and they pay a one-time entry fee and ongoing monthly dues. And in exchange for that, they get unlimited access to a diverse fleet of boats, not only at the club and the locations within the club that they join, but also reciprocal access to over 300 locations across North America and Europe um, and expanding into, into other areas as well. And so the, the business is doing really well and the club continues to grow leaps and bounds. And it's really, you know, as we take it forward, it's really centered around two things. One is we're on a path to what we call unrivaled scale. And that's all about putting a Freedom Boat Club location in every market. As many uh, as possible. Exactly. The more the merrier. <laughs> the more the merrier and for the unlimited, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And then we want to make sure there's a, a location everywhere people want to go boating. Mm -hmm. And then what we want to do is make sure that in every one of those locations, we're delivering a consistently remarkable member experience. And it's no more complicated than that. No, and that's what we want. It's easy, not complicated, right? Exactly. <laughs> As you all continue to expand the Freedom Boat Club, you have locations all across the United States, France and Canada, two con other countries that I personally love as well. So why do you think that this continues to be a popular option? It's a way to participate in boating that's very contemporary and on trend with a large variety of consumers. What's really interesting is when we take a look at the people that are most interested in joining the club, uh, we score well across all sorts of different uh, ways that you could slice up uh, how the members are categorized. Okay. So on the one hand, we have a lot of people joining the club that are younger than a typical boat owner. Uh, and we average actually the, the typical boat club members three years younger than the typical boat owner. Okay. And when they join the club, they say they really had no interest or intent in buying a new boat. So one of the things we're most excited about is we're actually expanding boating participants participation mm -hmm. and bringing new people and getting exactly. them on the water. Starting them young. <laughs> exactly, exactly. The other thing that's really cool and uh, it's somewhat like unique, I don't know too many businesses or clubs that can offer this, is uh, as people start to age out of typical boat ownership, we actually find that they use freedom as a way to stay engaged in the boating lifestyle without owning the boat. So we're kind of getting them in young and keeping them as they start to age out of kind of that typical prime ownership range, which is like what other businesses are there out there that right. appeal to young and old uh, uh, equally so. And doing so successfully. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't just slice across ages. It also, uh, there's many other ways that we look at it. So we have about two to three times as many female members uh, joining than what would typically buy a boat. So that's something we're really excited yeah. about. We're doing really well, especially we're here in Southeast Florida right now. We're doing really well well with the Hispanic population uh, in these markets and we're uh, interested in tapping into all sorts of other um, underrepresented minorities and kind of first-time boater populations. Right. Uh, Making where we it less intimidating for them absolutely. to get into the industry. And it's all about um, our, our mission is to expand and diversify boating participation and that shows up like in our latest marketing campaign. It, it used to be boating made simple which gets to what you were talking yeah. about before but now it's boating made for everyone and so we want to be this like tremendous inclusive community right. of boaters that becomes also the world's largest community of boaters. Exactly. I like that, that you touched on that because I think a lot of times people think that boating is only for the elites and only certain people are going to be accepted or deemed acceptable to have a boat or to join something like your club and you're saying no this is for everyone. Absolutely and there are plenty of people where when they come and they investigate the club they the way in which they're going to use boats and things they might be better suited to go and buy a boat and use it themselves right. and so we have the ability to pass those off to other partners partners in the various marketplaces. Uh, but the beauty of this is there's a whole bunch of people that join and they want to have, like it's a diverse fleet of boats. So you have access to pontoon boats, access to sport boats, runabouts, deck boats, access to saltwater fishing to go offshore. So like the diversity of right. boating experiences that we can provide at each individual club, let alone then 
now being in Spain and France and the United Kingdom and Canada in addition to the United States, people are planning their vacations around where they want to go and use the right. reciprocal benefits to go and visit, you know, plan their vacations around like boating experiences all across the world. And one of the things that you said is not everyone is going to be either in the market for a boat or they're not ready at the time, but when they get access to all of these different models, they can decide, well, okay, well, let me try out all of these options before I buy a boat, right? Versus, oh, I think I like that one. You actually get access to be able to test things first. Absolutely, yeah, we see uh, some statistics that kind of back up exactly what you're saying. We see every year about somewhere around eight to 10% of the membership uh, leaves the club. And of that eight to 10%, about one out of every five are leaving the club because they've graduated right. to boat ownership, exactly like you're describing, whether they're buying a used boat in the marketplace, a new boat, and even some of those members will buy a boat and stay in the club right. so they kind of have the best of both worlds. Most boats need motors and yours have a Mercury Marine motor. So why do you think Mercury Marine is such a good partner for your boats and for your various locations? Absolutely, Mercury is a very reliable engine uh, in the marketplace. And so what we see across a lot of the Freedom Fleet is the ability to, whether it's the 90, 115, 104, uh, 150 horsepower four strokes, or even the 250 horsepower uh, four strokes that typically show up on our saltwater fishing boats. They're incredibly reliable engines. You can imagine that's of paramount importance to our members at Freedom because uh, it's all about maximizing uptime. If somebody's gonna take the boat out in the morning slot, we have an hour to an hour and a half to turn that boat before the afternoon member shows up right. to take the boat out. And we need a motor and a boat that's gonna be reliable and enables all of the members to maintain their reservation and get out. Uh, and so it's an incredibly high quality, well-engineered products that keeps our members on the water and us able to uh, honor all of our, um, our reservations. And then the other thing that we're really excited about, we haven't tapped into it yet, but as more and more of the fleet across Freedom adopts Mercury product, we have over 4,000 boats in our fleet right now. As more and more of them become uh, Mercury powered, uh, we have the ability for a brand new reservation system that we're gonna be launching here to all of our members okay. in phases across 2022. And that reservation system will be at the docks, will be able to talk to the engine and enable some things we haven't been able to do in the past. We'll be able to take fuel readings, we'll be able to uh, take other diagnostics that enable the check-in and check-out process to be more efficient. Yeah, and I was to just going to say on, more efficient. <laughs> exactly. And then it enables our members to uh, engage with our dock staff and do other things in the time that they're normally checking in and checking out. So it just makes for a better experience, not only for our members, but also for kind of the operations of the club and our dock staff. So Cecil, thank you so much for being here with us today and just for educating us again all about the Freedom Boat Club. If you want to hear any information about the Freedom Boat Club, why don't you just give us a little bit of background, how they can contact the club, wherever they're located. Yeah, absolutely. It was great meeting you. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time today. Um, the best way to learn more about Freedom is to go to our website, freedomboatclub.com. Uh, if you're interested, you can sum, uh, uh, submit your information online and one of our uh, wonderful membership executives will be in touch uh, uh, to teach you more about the club, answer any questions you have, and see if it's right for you. All right, so Freedom Boat Club, correct? Yes. All right, so you heard it. Freedomboatclub.com is where you can go to get additional information. That is it for our time here today. Again, I am Kamala K. McKenzie. You're watching Mercury Live here at the Miami International Boat Show, and we'll see you on the next episode.